Welcome back to the series Angular Masterclass. In the previous episodes, we have installed Node.js and also we have, we have started started an application with Angular CLI. So in this episode, we are going to create first Angular component. So before that, let's understand what is component. So in Angular, we have modules. Modules are, I mean, Angular applications are very modular and Angular has its own modularity system called ng modules. So these modules are nothing but containers for a cohesive block of code dedicated to an application domain. So for example, your application may contain user module, payment module, payment history module. You may divide your application into three or four modules. Let's say, let's say your application is divided into four modules like module one, module two, module three, module four here. So in module one can have components. Uh, multiple components which doesn't depend on each other. In module 2, you can have only one component like this. In module 3, you can have one component and that component can have many components inside it. And also combination of like this. So if you look at this C1, C2, C3, um, the, the, the C1 contains the component one contains component two and component three. And also this module three has other, other components which are not dependent or which are not part of any other component. So let's go to module four. In module four, this component one is an extend, extends component two. That means some part of logic is extended by component one. That means component one uses some part of logic from component two. So every Angular application has at least one module, which is called root module, and it is named as app module. And the file, uh, and the file is app.module.ts. Let's start the application with um, npm start. So when you run npm start, which, which in turn runs ng serve command, that runs the application on port 4200. Let's go to the browser and let's see. Yes, you, our application is running on port 4200. So if you look at app component.html, we have a lot of HTML here, a lot of HTML and CSS. Let's delete this and let's put some simple text called hello world. Let's add a heading. Let's put hello world here. So when, when you save this uh, file and when you say, as soon as you save this file, you can actually see this hello world on the browser. So now you can see, uh, you, you can see that component contains the single text called hello world. So let's, um, now let's, let's terminate and let's create component. So you can, you can manually create a component, but and Angular will give you um, with ng with ng we can generate a component. So ng g stands for generate, c stands for component. So we are generating a hello world component. So when I run this command, it actually creates hello world folder under app. So by default, it uses the location, the app source app. So it actually it created a hello world folder and it creates four files. One is CSS file, one is HTML file. Uh, another is spec file, which is the test unit test file, and another is the component, which is which is the where you put all your logic. So we have at line number four, we have the selector, and we have imported HTML, and we have imported CSS files, and take some time to understand the whole structure of this. But uh, but all you need to understand is you put your CSS in the dot CSS file you put your logic in the ts file and you put all your html code in the dot html file and at line number 4 if you select this app hello world so if if you create any any component the component is created with the selector uh, whatever the name is given but the name is prefixed with app so like, like now app hello world. 
So you can copy the selector and you can paste it in the app component.html. So let's delete the line number one. Let's, let's save it and let's run the application again. So you can actually see uh, one more thing uh, to remember. So as soon as you create any component, it is automatically imported into the into the existing module. So if you do not want that behavior, you can actually go to the Angular docs and see is there any flag. Yes, we have a flag called skip import. If you use that flag with ng generate command, it it doesn't import. Uh, that component into the existing folder existing module so right now we need we need that to be imported here so let's leave it there and let's run the application now now you can see you can you can you can see the text from the component let's let's add some styles here let's change p to h1 so that yeah and then let's let's go to CSS file and let's add some styling. So I'm giving some background color. Let's give it some margin. Let's save this and let's see how it works, how it looks. Now the styles are applying. So um, if you add any styles to this .css file, all the styles are applied to that particular component. So now that component has h1. So all these styles are applied to that particular h1. So let's give it padding so that it looks like a box. Yep, we have a box now. So we have created a component, uh, let's play and we have used the selector to place the component in the app component.html. Let's see how it works if I place multiple times. So I placed four times and I can see four times the same component in the browser. So it actually works as any other HTML tag. Let's go ahead and change some CSS so that it looks a little bit better. Let's change the margin to 10%. Uh, I think it looks better. Yep, it looks something better. So, so we have created component, and in the future episodes, we are going to create how to um, how we are going to see how to create modules and also how we can communicate between modules, how we can communicate between components. All those things we will see in the future future episodes. Please subscribe. Thank you for watching.